This is the knot that was used to tie all the zeppelins down in the world when they had zeppelins. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is that very few people in the world know this knot. Just a, I, I don't know, maybe a handful. But the whole thing is, is that you can put all the pressure you want on it, and it will not slip. Okay. But the minute you take pressure off of it, you can untie it. I mean, easily with your fingers. No matter how much, how many tons was put on. Wow. Tons of pressure. So the other evening when we were raising the tower, I used the Zeppelin knot to show up wow. to, to do the tower. And these guys were standing around, these like engineers, you know, people that run, yeah. you know, that run that machine on us. And, yeah. and, and I was dressed, you know, in a skirt. And all that. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, and they're going, oh, yeah, he knows. He knows all these knots. Yeah, 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 sure he does. You know. Yeah. So I said, no, I'm going to tie the zeppelin knot for this because uh, that's the only only way I'm going to let you lift it up is with the zeppelin knot. Since you know. For so, sure. Yeah. Okay. When I was when I was eight years old, I knew four thousand eight hundred knots. And are you serious? Yeah. And I, I slowed down a little bit because you know, and it took me a while longer. But by the time I was twenty two years old. Yes. I knew 6,000 knots. And. Seriously. Yeah, I know 6,000 knots. And that you'd never think that there were 6,000 knots. I never would have. But there are. Knots. And yeah. many of them were decorated. decorated I mean, you knots, like yeah. knots for buttons, like in Japan, they have all these clever different. Zeppelin knot is so cool that that you can just undo it no matter how many tons of pressure you put wow. on it. It'll never tighten up where you can untie it with your fingers. So let me ask you this. How did you learn the Zeppelin knot? How did, did that come in from a person, or did you read about it some in person? An old German who wow. used to tie them. Patrick, give me two wow. right. You tie it. one end of the rope has a loop, you know, that goes under. Yeah. The other end ha has a loop that's on top. See, and they face in opposite direction like that, right? Yeah. Lay the top loop on top of the under loop, and then. <clears throat> The top loop comes around, comes up at the bottom, the bottom goes one comes the around, side, yeah. goes in through the top, and then, I mean, it's one of the prettiest knots too, I mean, it's yeah, so it's symmetrical, so yeah. and yet, I mean, I use it to tie off, um, like, necklaces and things like that, I mean, because... Because it looks nice. It looks nice, yeah, it's very yeah. aesthetic, it's, it's a decorative knot too, isn't it? But, isn't that amazing knot? It is. Yeah. A loop like that? Yeah. Well... <clears throat> I'll take a strip of paper and show you that if you tie an ordinary knot yeah. out of a flat piece of paper and you pull the ends tight, it makes a perfect pentagon. Wow. Yeah, perfect pentagon. This is a pentagon. You can't tell by looking at it right now. No. But if, if I tie it out of a flat strip of paper, you'll see it forms a perfect pentagon. I mean, there's there's a lot of sacred geometry in knots. Wow. And also, wow. uh, like Mobius. You know, uh, Mobius strips. Mobius I've seen, strips. I've done that with paper. I've things that are one-sided and things yeah. like that. Um, can you do that with knots? Mobius knots. Or? Yeah, you can. You can. You can tie knots that actually are functionally, you know, Mobius strips and things. I mean, wow. I, I've. It's, it's been kind of like my life study in knots because it's. Uh, you can learn so much mathematically from them, and when you, like I say, when you start tying knots with. Uh, I mean you. You, uh, like with a flat piece of paper, yeah. and you realize that it forms a perfect pentagon. I mean, <laughs> I know I've got to see that. Yeah, you made it into a into a paper strip, right? Yeah. Okay, now if I tie, let's see if I can do this. Okay, yeah, I can. Okay, if I tie an ordinary knot like I showed you with the rope. Okay. I just pass it through each other like it's tying a shoe. Yeah. Oop. Here, I just have to find it in there. Okay. Okay, here it is. If you if you look at that, it forms perfect pentagon. See? Oh. Pentagon. It's, in other words, an ordinary knot, ordinary knot people tie every single day. If you tie it with a flat piece of paper, it becomes a pentagon. It, it becomes a, a perfect pentagon. There's George Washington's head there, and a perfect pentagon, perfect geometric pentagon, and. It, and it's an ordinary knot, like I showed you before. People tie it every day, just a silly knot like that. Wow. But you tie it out of a flat strip of paper, and it makes a perfect pentagon. Yeah. That's incredible. So it's like the sacred geometry. Yeah. 
knots are the foundation of, uh, well, you know, in science we now have string theory, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. In, in atomic physics. Yes. Well, those strings form knots, and there is a whole atomic physics uh, theory based on knots. Knots like create reality. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah. On level. True. And 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 creating sacred geometries in in the in the atomic world, creating our whole world. And maybe thoughts create knots in some way. Yeah. <laughs> so so there's yeah. a lot more to knots than than we. Uh, that's yeah. why that film's called Not yeah. Knots. Yeah, right. not, not what you think. Yes. Yeah, and that's right. why I spent my entire life, and I didn't even know why, but I was studying knots. And and when you learn things like this, a simple thing, form a perfect. In in ancient Greece. The, the knowledge of forming a pit, making a pentagon was punishable by death because it was the secret of the, the, of the Pythagorean school. And when people learn how to make a pentagon, uh, the Pythagorean schools uh, swore them, uh, you know, to secrecy, and that wow. if they ever revealed it, they would it would be they would be punished, you know, by death. And, really? and yet, you can make a perfect pentagon with a flat piece of paper making a simple knot. Uh, do you think the Greeks knew this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.